Okay, so I was continuing with our over dyeing series of videos here. Um, I don't have any garments to over dye, well, not that I want to over dye, so I'm actually going to over dye this sock blank. Now, sock blank is machine knitted 100 grams of yarn, which you unravel and re knit, and it gives you a pattern or a design as you re knit it. So, this one has already been dyed with the earth palette dyes, and this one has been dyed with the brown, mustard, and olive. So I'm going to re-dye it in different colours to show you the difference. And I'm going to choose the colours that will go well with it. And I might do the brown with the rhubine and the green. We might go over that with a blue and the yellow. Hmm. What should we do with the yellow? The mustard, sorry. Um, now maybe I'll do the rhubarb over the mustard and then I'll do a purple over the brown and the blue over the green, okay? So that's how we'll dye this one to see how that works. So I'm not expecting to be a huge amount of color with the brown, huge change in the colour with the brown because it's already quite dark. So it'll just t change the hue of the colour more than anything. So just move them out of the way a little bit. So, okay. Because the earth palettes have that thickener in them, you can put them on and they won't really travel too far amongst unless you splatter them like that. So we'll go draw our line there. I won't mind if it's too much. It doesn't have to be exact. We're gonna run out of dye. Oh my goodness. Make sure you get right to the edges. And there's a tiny little bit up here. So we'll put a little bit there as well. So you see, this is the end that was machined. This, this blank has been knitted with two strands. I'll show you here. Two strands of yarn. So that when you unravel it, you'll have two 50 gram balls of the same exactly identical colour. So it gives you a chance to knit two socks identical. All right then. So... purple or the violet on the yellow is not going to work the violet has to go on the green okay that's fine I should have filled up my dye containers before we did this one because I might run out of dye perhaps I should go and fill it up whoops run over a bit there so Make sure you get it all to the edge because the edge is rolled slightly and that's a couple of thicknesses there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to run out of dye so I might have to go and refill my bottle and come back to finish this off, all right? I'll be okay, so I'm back with my violet dye again to go over the green and I realised as I went to unplug my microphone that I actually hadn't plugged it in anyway so I apologize if the sounds not that good on the beginning of this video should be good now so we're putting our violet over the olive just work it in a little bit this is superwash yarn that is used to knit this so you can afford to be a little bit rough with it because it won't felt well if it does there's a won't be very happy with that but it shouldn't because it is a machine washable yarn so you've got a little bit extra time to work with it okay and then we're going to do the blue on the mustard and that should just change it to a well that's going to make it quite dark actually isn't it oh well, not to worry we'll have dark socks it's going to be a dark green 
Didn't think that one out terribly well, did I? Should have put that over the green and then it just would have made a darker green. Ah well, you live and learn. This one. Oh, I might have put a bit much on there. Okay, so I think that'll do for now. We'll stop playing with it. Now there's two ways you can cover this to let it set. It needs to be kept wet while that dye is setting. You can either roll out another um, piece of plastic over the top of it or you can roll it up from the edge. So just make sure you clean so you're not contaminating it and then I just roll them up like this get our container to put it in. And then I'll just let it sit here. It's quite warm today. It's about 25 degrees out here in my studio. And I'll just leave it to set and rinse it out tomorrow morning and come back and show you how it looks. So here is our over dyed sock blank and it's set. The, the bit of colour that's in it is just from the plastic, that's the dye that's come onto the plastic. So it's um, quite warm here today. In fact, it's 35 degrees and howling wind. So I don't know what happened to spring. So as you can see, the, the, the liquid that's coming out has a tiny little bit of colour in it. But with the earth palette dyes, you sometimes do get a little touch of colour, but not a lot. Most of that colour has been absorbed into the fibres and in the yarns and um, the colours have come out quite um, similar, but it's certainly not the same piece of sock blank that we saw earlier. So I'm going to rinse this out now and come back and show it to you when it's all completely dry. So here's our sock blank, it's all dry. The edges on this curl up a little bit because it's just stocking stitch, but that's okay. Now, as you can see, the colors, are, you can see them far more distinct now that it's been rinsed out. Wet yarn always looks a little bit darker anyway. This one is the two, sorry, it's got the two separate um, yarns so that when you unravel this and re-knit it, you've got two identical 50 gram skeins. Pretty happy the way that one's come up. I wasn't going to use it the colour it was, but as it's over dyed, I'm, I think that'll knit up pretty good actually. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you for the next video. Feel free to like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, please put them down below in the comments.